first, we do start here at 5 with manslaughter charges against a Metro doctor and pharmacist. They're accused of giving a woman such a high dose of medicine, she died. They're also facing a civil lawsuit. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke to the attorney for the victim's family, something you'll see only on 9. Carol Sullivan was a retired registered nurse. Her family's attorney, Joe White, says her whole life was dedicated to helping others. A truly wonderful woman. I had three grandchildren along with her two sons and one of those typical all-American families. White says he got a call from the family when Sullivan's health took a turn for the worse. She died last May. The family, when they got the certificate of death and saw that she died as a result of methotrexate toxicity, well, that's not a normal occurrence. Court documents say she fell at her home and was admitted to Mercy Hospital for hip pain. A few days later, she was discharged and admitted to Bellevue Health and Rehab Center for inpatient treatment. Why does a healthy woman who is sent for physical therapy, no broken bones, dies within two weeks? Her attorney says the answer is negligent medical treatment and nursing care. Court documents say Dr. Alexander Frank and pharmacist Justin Lee misprescribed Sullivan methotrexate. Methotrexate will eat the bone marrow from the inside out. Giving Sullivan 20 milligrams daily instead of weekly. Court documents show Frank and Lee approved the incorrect dosage despite warnings from their computers. They had their own internal safeguards and policies and procedures in place that were violated and ignored in this case. Sullivan took methotrexate for five days before being transported to a hospital. She never made it home. She made it to the hospice house, unfortunately. The family is suing agencies like Bellevue, as well as Frank. I reached out to several agencies and people involved in the lawsuits. I have not heard back from some, and others did not want to comment. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.